Tom Hanks is not afraid to get what he wants. The 61-year-old actor in an interview with BBC Radio 2 that he took a typewriter from the set of The Post to add to his growing collection of the vintage relics. The Academy Award-winning actor played newspaper editor Ben Bradley in the Steven Spielberg-directed political thriller. Hanks exposed how he took one of the film's props home with him. I tested every single one of those machines and I picked out the one for me. I informed the prop department, I'm either buying it or stealing it, it's up to them, he said. The Toy Story star that his collection is so extensive, he doesn't want to burden his kids with his typewriters when he dies. I don't want these to be a burden to my children when I kick the bucket, the actor said. I don't want them to say, what are we gonna do with Dad's typewriters? The film starring Hank spotlights the Washington Post's struggles to publish the Pentagon Papers, which contained secret information about U.S. Involvement with the war in Vietnam. The Saving MR. Banks' actor worked alongside fellow Hollywood icon, Meryl Streep, who played Catherine Graham, Bradley's boss. The 61-year-old actor spoke about his on-screen character in an admiring way and hailed him as a lion. He knew how to enter a room he had the greatest job in the world. And he, I think, governed by enthusiasm, no small amount of gregariousness, just the right amount of charm, but a confidence in what the job was, he said to the BBC Radio 2. Prior to the beginning of this movie, he and his boss, Catherine Graham, are trying to become the number one newspaper in Washington, D.C. He was a lion, let me put it that way. Last Thursday, the Catch Me If You Can actor was spotted getting dinner with the post-film director Steven Spielberg, 71, and his wife Kate Capshaw, 64, at Scott's Restaurant in London. The trio was joined by Brian Cranston, 61, as they all skipped the Critics' Choice Awards that were held that evening in Los Angeles. Hanks and Spielberg have a history of working together in the past, with the pair collaborating for critically acclaimed films like Bridge of Spies, Catch Me If You Can and The Terminal.